Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Britt here and today I wanted to do something a little bit different. the picture on my Instagram and I got a lot of likes and it was about my leather goods including this leather bag so I thought why not do a what's in my bag video or slash my leather goods video and slash this can go on and go on but pretty much I'm going to show you my EDC my everyday carry currently so let's dive right in okay so first the bag this is a bag from Portland leather and I found them on Etsy and this bag is just I'm in love with it it is the medium saddle bag in the Merlot color and actually what happened is that I ordered this in the saddle color and I ended up getting this color um, and I notified the company and they immediately responded the same day and said that I can return it and they will send me the right color well I am impatient and I thought I can I can deal with this color I usually like I like dark leathers but I also like really light leathers and um, he ended up giving me a discount on top of the discount they already have in on their shop so um, very great customer service I wasn't expecting the discount but I mean considering I did get the wrong color and decided to keep the purse anyway um, it was very generous of them so this is the Merlot color with the dark colored straps. It is a zipper. You have the option to choose um, without a zipper. And I think you, and you have the option to choose a different color strap as well. I will link their shop down below. Check them out. They do actually still have a sale going on and they sell um, more than just purses. They do have different color leathers as well. Now as for the items that are in my bag, let's start off with my uh, notebooks. So I'm currently have the surprise leather. Um, I don't know if this leather actually has a name. This is of course by Rowena. This is in the B6 size and I am housing my documented journey um, saddle stitch notebook for just some of my drawings. So I have that. I have my EDC journal in the Roadrunner leather and I have talked about this notebook before. I absolutely love it and I love the character. I love the stitching. It's absolutely perfect um, and I am using this as a daily journal so love this guy. Next is my Mr. Darcy from Chic Sparrow. I will do a review slash, you know, show and tell type thing on this guy, which I haven't done yet. Um, a video will be coming soon on this one. But this is holding my weeks and um, some of my pens. Last for notebooks is my wallet. And this is my Foxy Fix wallet in the ballerina slipper 
and I have been carrying this for a couple months now. Um, I do have a video on this guy. I will link it up top. I think over here. But next I have my Vogue um, eyeglass container I carry with me just because I have my little like scrubby to clean my glasses. This is not made out of leather. It's like a hard container. Sorry for the, sh the glare. Just a little pouch here which has my like lip gloss and my Tylenol and things like that. Then I have this guy which is from Franklin Christoph order I recently purchased. Um, I posted this on my Instagram but it's white and so it's like the clear one. Um, it's hard to see because of the light lighting but it is a fountain pen that is very lightweight and there we go. It's very lightweight and um, really cool looking because it's like a clear resin, almost clear. It's like a shadowed, shaded white. Um, I have my Decimo in here and my Lamy Safari in here as well. And this is a really cute pouch that came with my um, Franklin Kristoff order. I wasn't expecting that and I carry this with me ever since Rowena pouch and I've talked about this in a couple videos already. Um, she is housing my Franklin Conklin in the All American. I have another Lammy, pink Lammy, and then I have my one of my favorite tis, Twisbees um, in the medium and it's holding some pink ink and I have a video on this guy as well. Seems like as my bag is getting more emptied um, there's a strong glare. I have some lotion and I have a charger for my phone or any devices. I carry this with me just in case. It's always good to have um, one of these like charging banks. And then I have a key fob from uh, Kate Spade and this is actually in a turquoise color as you can see there and it has a little cute um, Kate Spade little, I don't know, they're logo I guess. I have this lotion which is actually really nice got from Bath and Body Works and um, really keeps your hands moisturized. Then I have some Germex. Sorry that was blurry. Okay and then there is a pocket here which you can kind of pull back from it's not attached to the bag um, all the way so you can kind of lift it up and that allows for a lot of room you could put a lot of things in here just have my ID um, and then I have my micron pens here that won't fit um, anywhere else. I need to get in our pouch to be able to put some more pens in here. I have my um, lash little thingy there. And then uh, one of my favorite uh, Tombow Fudenosuke brush pens. And what else? I have this little pouch thing here which um, I got from another bag and then I put it in here but this bag is pretty sturdy it's not like super duper floppy um, and I love how when I put all my stuff in it I can still zip it um, it keeps me from hoarding too much stuff in here um, and I just love absolutely love the leather it's just beautiful it is marking up a little bit um, and 
yeah, so please check out their website. I am actually thinking about getting something else from them. I didn't realize that their sale is still going on, which is really cool. Um, but thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.